Okay, this is part two on this Kohler Courage. We did uh, pick all the parts we needed to rebuild this engine. Um, so stay tuned. So, out of all these parts that we have in these buckets, we went ahead and we picked the best out of all. Uh, making sure that we use the right parts because there is some subtle changes in the bucket. All these parts are the ones that are going to go on the rebuild part. Everything's mic'd now. All the rings are good. The piston's good. We checked the bore. The bore is good. We cleaned the whole inside. We took and we cleaned all the surfaces for the <clears throat> gasket. We're going to be doing the valve job. I don't have to show you how to do a valve job because there's so many videos out there. We did clean the head, check the head, make sure everything's good. We cleaned the surfaces for the gasket. We do have to clean the valve cover. Now the subtle changes that are in some of these Kohler Courages is that they have an oil oil level and it has a breather for the gas pump. We are going to be cleaning this whole area and cleaning the surface for the gasket. We are going to pull these oil seals on both sides, top uh, off the sump and the bucket on the bottom. We're going to be putting two new oil seals. We have them right here. They're, they're both the same. So the top and bottom are both the same oil seals. We will get a new oil filter. And I do have gaskets. So I'll show you while I'm putting this uh, together. The new gaskets. And I'll be putting it together on video. So stay tuned. Okay, I'm going to be cleaning out this valve cover for this Courage. You want to get something underneath. This has two walls. Try not to bend it. Just get a couple screwdrivers. And try to center up. It'll come out. Once you have this piece out, this has a reed valve back here in your bucket. It also has this like sponge thing. We'll put that on a paper napkin. Now, I save all my popsicle and ice cream sticks just because I can cut these into what I need to scrape along edges and they're really dirty so you know I could make this into a point just to clean in here if you look in here they're all kind of scuzzy dirty stuff in there all right so we'll get a little gunk remover carb and choke cleaner, spray that inside piece out nicely, get a brush, brush that down, clean the oil and residue off of there. Inside, we need a little smaller brush. Clean that up. And of course, the compressor's not on. 
I have to turn the compressor on to blow this stuff off. I'll do that in a little bit. So far so good, don't have to use a ice cream stick because uh, it's coming off pretty good. A lot of times, you know, when it heats up, it, it get, gets stuck on here and you have a hell of a time getting that stuff out. now so I'm gonna light up the compressor and we'll blow all that stuff off as soon as the compressor is full of air okay now we got air um, all right take and blow off any debris you see Get it nice and clean. Watch it, these ends are sharp. All right, that's nice and clean. Take the cover, same thing. Wipe it down. These ends are sharp too, so be careful. Now it takes a little time to clean them up. But you know you have something nice and clean to work with. Okay. Nice and clean. Now we'll take that sponge filter, give it a shot or two. That's great clean. Shake that out. Put it in between a couple napkins, squeeze it out. And blow a little air in there. Dry it up. There you go. Let's assemble it. Take this, put it in here. You got a couple of cut ends, so that'll fit into this V. Take your second piece, put it on there, just give it a little push, and it's done. One valve cover, clean as a whistle, all set. Put that aside. All right, next. We're going to clean the sump. But I think I'm going to have to put you guys up a little higher to see me do that. So I'll be right back.
All right, let's clean this. This is the sump. Well, I guess we're just going to have to clean it on a table the way it is. Um, yeah. Do it in sections, huh? with a brush and with wood you can scrape with not a problem get in those nicks and crannies It's just to get the basic, the most of the grease off, and then we'll wash it with soap and water. But you want to get most of this heavy stuff off. All right, so I don't think you want to watch me clean this whole thing. But after I clean this whole thing, I'm going to go here underneath it. And I'm going to clean all the sludge and everything that's under here. Take the oil filter off. Check everything. Make sure it works right. I'm going to take the oil seal out. And then I'm going to take and clean off the old gasket. So I don't think you really need to see me do that. Um, as far as the old gasket goes, I can uh, probably show you how to take that out. Grab yourself a hammer and something like a chisel or a punch. Put it on the edge of the gasket. Give it a few taps on either side. It'll come out. Guys, uh, stuck on there pretty good. There we go. So, here's the old oil seal. Toss it in a bucket, get rid of it. So, next time you see this, this will be clean.
Okay, microphones aren't as good as you remember to put them on. <laughs> All right, so over here I got a brass wire wheel. Wear safety glasses. I wear glasses, but I also have safety glasses with the side shields because a wire shoots and could shoot you right in the eye and we only have one set so let's keep them safe all right we'll turn this on I like to clean this whole bottom area first And then I do the top. Well, there you have it. You have a brass brush. Make short work out of it. All right, let's go over here. Set you up over here. I'm going to put my other glasses back on. Look at in here. This is all my valve grinding tooling. I love using this uh, one with the on the back here that sucks on the valve. Um, we'll take this wire brush, take the compound. Uh, let's see. We'll take this tool here. Now, if you notice, I have all different types of uh, valve compressors. This is what a long time ago I used to use. Then they came up with, uh, let's see, this is uh, for the, the stays on the valve guide valve ends and they came out with these this type here for Briggs and Stratton but uh, yeah these wood ones is what I used to use all these other old wood ones all right so enough of that let's set you up over here and see what you could see Go back here. Anything better there? Yeah, that looks good.
Okay, let's see now. Rose cloth. All right, what I like to do is get my regular drill. Put the valve on it. Use the rose cloth. Let's cut a piece off. Wrap it around the stem and run it. Then you grab the valve itself. Makes it look like brand new. Take the other end and just run it a little bit like that. Okay, that's one. Then you take the other one and do the same thing. Nice, huh? Okay. There we go. Not two nice clean valves. Okay, let's see. Get some valve compound. Put a little on your finger. Ooh. <laughs> a little, Hank, not a lot. Put it on the valve seat. I don't know why this was so wet. Okay, now that's why I like this tool is because the suction on it holds really good. Put that right in there. Now we have to raise this up a little bit because we need the room underneath. I'm going to put the bigger suction cup on. Now we're going to run this for a little while. Let's see if you can even see what I'm doing. Oh yeah. We'll get the other one ready. We'll drop it down the hole.
All right, pull it out and we'll take a look at it, wipe it off a little bit. Oh, that looks really good. All right. So, as long as you got a nice ridge around there, that's excellent. Okay, that looks good. But I'm gonna read I'm gonna do it until it's nice and shiny. So uh, because I use uh, what do you call it uh, a lighter grit compound and uh, makes the surface nice and shiny. So let me uh, get back to work here on this and uh, I'll be back. Okay, <clears throat> now that I'm finished grinding the valves, I'll put the valves in. Wrap up something to put in underneath here. Flip it over. <sighs> there was something in there. Let me blow that up. Okay. <laughs> All right, so over here, now the valves can't fall down. I have this tool. I'll put this on here for the time being. That's for the rockers. Yeah, man. Okay. Then I'll put the spring on. Take my keepers. Okay, we'll put the the keeper holder on the spring. Then we'll put the tool on top and press down. Take the keeper, put it in and release the holder and that keeps the spring and keeper in place we'll do the other side again we'll put the spring on put the keeper on top of that grab a hold of our keeper Press down, put the keeper in, and let go. So now the spring's in, keepers are on. Take the cloth out. And the keepers can't come out because the way it's designed. Put our rockers on. And we won't adjust anything until we put the head on and our push rods, of course. Slippery when oily.
Okay then. The head is done. The next step will be to start assembling the bucket with everything in it. So stay tuned. The next part will be the best part. This is Hank saying, see you in a while.